Boom. What's up, everybody? Welcome, all you crowders, to Monday. Today's Monday? Monday. Monday Night Crowd. Okay. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's me, Jaren Phillips, and Lindsay Fry. I almost called her Lindsay Phillips, even though she's been married for seven years. Seven years. All right. Great. Good to see everybody. I uh, hope everybody is doing okay at home. It's uh, always interesting to trying to get on the phone and message and talk with different people every single day, find out what is going on. And uh, we're all facing uh, similar challenges. Although some people are on one end of the extreme, they're stuck at home, they're not doing anything. Other people are super busy and still having to work even though they're stuck at home. But uh, anyway, we're thinking about you all. Uh, great to have a community of people that kind of stick together. Please let us know if there are any challenges that we can help with. Uh, again, don't forget, uh, we have gear that you can uh, borrow and uh, stuff like that for at home. Anyway, let's get going. Let's uh, have some fun. Shoulders back and kida. So uh, let's just uh, start up with a, with a little bit of uh, uh, just kind of footwork. I'm just kind of working forward, just being relaxed as always. Working a little bit of angles here, just off and on. We've got some... Uh, Got the peanut gallery over here with Cookie and Charlie. Remember, I just, I never want to have to think about what I should be doing with my feet. I always step towards the direction and I catch up. I catch up, I catch up and switch stands. Even if this happens, I want to be able to do the same thing. I'm always stepping and catching up, stepping and catching up, always keeping my hands up and switch stance again. Here we go. Let's just add some shadow boxing to this. Start adding some kicks and stomps in there. Music my list here. Good. Let's uh, uh, just get a little card, just a tad of cardio, get the heartbeat going. I'm gonna throw a knee. Boom. As soon as it, as soon as I land that, I'm gonna switch my stance and throw the other knee. This is called chugging knees. But boom, 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 boom. Rush, rush. Uh, for more you more advanced people, when I'm coming back down. I go ahead and get in the stance before I actually land. One, two ways to do this. One is throw that knee, land it, then switch and throw the other knee. Switch, land on the ball of the foot, switch. More, a more realistic one that people would do, they throw one knee, Boom, and they switch on the way down. I'm going down, boom, boom. So if you can work that, boom, boom, or plant it, then switch. Remember, I always want to take whatever I'm kneeing, if I can, bring it into the knee at an angle is best. Boom, boom. Oh, we had such a great dinner. I don't know how to describe it. Well, ramen. 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 Rebecca actually made some of the new. It was really cool. <laughs> Woo! Okay, great. Uh, all right, gonna work a little bit of a foot drill here, and I'm gonna kind of turn away from the uh, from the the angle here, so you can kind of see. I'm gonna be working a very simple square drill. Okay. This is very similar to what we just did. The key thing here that I'm putting into my body memory is just that I, I always step, uh, I step and catch up. I step and catch up, I step and catch up, I step and catch up, I step and catch up. Good. So now that you have that, I'll let her do it one direction and I'm gonna be here. So I want this to be very, very relaxed. Step my right, back to my left, forward, here, boom, boom. You wanna start adding some strikes, or some single strikes as you do. 
just kind of got inspired with uh, with what I know Aaron has bringing a lot of great footwork drills in there uh, but here's here's what I'm going to do I'm going to throw a number one punch I'm gonna get a little bit of an angle here so I make sure my voice is getting there I'm gonna throw this number one as I step as I throw the number two I'm gonna be throwing a one two every direction every corner that I hit I'm gonna throw the number one and then I'm gonna throw the number two as I step in. Don't be in a hurry. I'm gonna throw a number one as I step to my right. As I catch up, I'm throwing the number two. That's important. I don't want you to throw the one, two, and then catch up. I want you to step, and uh, there's a punch that corresponds with each step. So I'm throwing the one, then throwing the two. As I step back, I throw the one. As I catch up, I throw the two. Stepping to my left, as I throw the one, then I catch up throwing the two. Don't be in a hurry. Boom, 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 boom. Ersh, 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 ersh. Huh? Mm. Boom, boom. Notice I'm still landing in my exact fighting stance every single time. Now, I am not telling you that this is a drill or this is, a, this is some footwork that you will put into a fighting situation. This is a coordination drill. This is about just uh, uh, getting to a place where your feet can move correctly. You can throw punches and not have to actually engage your mind as to what's going on. So I'm trying to just get this here. So she's going to be, let's, see, let's watch Lindsay do it. She steps. Good, so don't even feel like you have to go that fast. That's good. <laughs> so whatever your pace is, here we go. We're in that, uh, in that square. Here we go. find yourself looking at your feet, that's okay, but you want to get to where you're not doing that. Also, if you find yourself throwing both strikes in one step, try to avoid that. Good. You think you can go back the other direction? Okay, that's a, but that's a great one to do. So what you can do is just say, hey look, I'm gonna do 10 this direction, 10 the other direction, okay? We don't have all that time, so what we're gonna do is in this direction here, now instead of a one, two, I'm gonna throw a two, one, okay? I'm just gonna throw my, my right and then my left first. So as I step, I throw the two. As I catch up, I throw the one. As I step to my, my right, I'm throwing the two. I'm throwing the one as I catch up. Throwing the two, throwing the one. Throwing the two, throwing the one. Throwing the two, throwing the one. The two and 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 the one. That was even myself. I find myself throwing both strikes. As a, as a, immediately. Rush, rush. Boom, boom. The two in the one. Two in the one. Two in the one. Two in the one. Shh. Rush, rush. Rush, rush. Rush, rush. Rush, rush. Rush, rush. Rush, rush. Rush, Good. Switch it to the one, two again. Oh boy. Rush, rush. Rush, rush. Rush. Good. Now, if you feel advanced, let's take one more brief round of that. 
and let's make it a two, three, okay? So I will be throwing the hook. One of the things that a drill like this will help with is learning how to throw a strike, especially on the retreat. Uh, it makes sense that when you throw a strike, when you're advancing, the strike's gonna, the strike's gonna be improved. I mean, you're gonna have the advance and a lot of weight going in there. However, uh, I could have a really good, or Lindsay could have a really good right. Boom, ooh, that feels solid. But now I'm coming at her and she has to back up as she's throwing it. You know, you'll find that, wow, that wasn't nearly as loud, was it? it a, a strike really suffers when it's thrown without kinetic energy, without proper balance and things like that. Like a typical thing is I'm backing up. Now literally, let's let her hand be the target. I'm like, eh. I literally could not even hit the target because I'm throwing that strike and I'm not landing, okay? Whereas if I just took a, a moment of time, planted the foot and then thrown it, it could have been a lot stronger. So we have to learn how to throw strikes. Oh, I'm backing up. I've got this great hook, but all of a sudden now I'm backing up and it becomes nothing, okay? So I have to get the dynamics. Boom, how do I, how do I create force even when I'm retreating, okay? So this one does that. Let's take a moment of time. I'm not sure how challenging this was to you, but this would be for higher levels for sure. All right. so. Uh, I'll start with a two, well, I'll start with a three, two, that'll be more similar to the one, two. So I'm gonna throw that, that's pretty obvious. That's an advancing hook, right? This is a static two, good. So now this also is an advancing hook, boom. And this is just throwing across, but I've got the kinetic energy, boom. Not, eat, not too difficult. Going backwards now, I'm throwing a retreating number three, boom. So this is probably the most challenging corner there uh, because I've got to be able to create force as I drive back. And then of course, I'm throwing a number two as I'm bringing that last one back, but yet my foot is still solid here. I've got the kinetic energy, but I'm gonna have to rotate. A lot of times, just, just like in combos, the two, the last, the last couple of strikes will suffer because people will just shove them forward and not get the rotation or the drive in there. Okay, so I'm in here, I'm stepping back, throwing that three, stepping, and the two. This side over here, again, a challenge because I'm going to the outside, but yet I'm trying to create force going that way with the hook, sorry. Boom, and here, throwing the two, as I advance over. So let's just, just take a moment and try that. It's a three, two. Rush, 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 rush. Slow it down so you, even myself, I find myself bunching them together. Boom. Rush, 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 opportunity you have during this time. I hope you don't think footwork drills and things like that are boring because I'm telling you what, they, they truly accelerate your, uh, your improvement in Krav. If you can just get your footwork down and this is, this is the time, this is the opportunity during this time here. Uh, for those of you who have partners and I've been trying to get a really good feel for how many people have uh, partners, so I wanted to kind of give you some drills uh, if, you have, if you have somebody to work with. And whether you have uh, mitts or not, remember we have some of these that you can, you can borrow. Uh, so several people have, but we still have plenty, plenty left. I'm gonna hold them here so just to give her uh, some good targets, but I could easily use my hands. You know, we just, you know, she has to use eggshell hands. Uh, 
uh, you know, just keeping them nice and nice and uh, loose. But if you have some some mitts, they're they're fine. All right. So if I have a partner, uh, and let's say you're at the level one or early level two, the main things we want to work on are uh, are left right left or left right left combos. So we start those by simple the uh, uh, we can we can make single strike calls. I hold it flat. Remember, I want them to, uh, I want to give them a great flat target. When she strikes this, it's like I'm giving her a high five. Hey, what's up? Uh, let's do a high five. Hey, what's up? You know, I don't shove it in there, nor do I wimpy fish and let it come back. We just meet right there. Here it is. Right. Good. Over here, it's a two, a three. Remember, now this represents the side of my face but it's further out, so it's here, boom, four, right. good. So single strikes, uh, and then of course, I can always help with their movement, simply by here I come, she's gonna have to step pivot out of the way, boom, or circle. So, uh, so by you know circling, she gets out of the way, step pivot, literally stepping, doing the matador thing, here I come, she's got a ear. Then I give her some more star digs, making her pivot. These are all good. I can also add simple uh, strikes. Notice that there's no trickery here. <laughs> you know, something like, like, I want her to see this coming a mile away. So, uh, combos, uh, simple combos that we do from uh, in level one. This is the only one that is unique with the pad holding, is what we refer to as the one, one, two, where she jabs, uh, two jabs. Uh, on this side? Well, that's this, I'm saying this one oh. is unique because we say one, one, two. If you remember, we did this in a class because oh. generally the person uh, rotates around or circles around as they go. So I just give her one target, one, 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 two. Everything else is all right out here in front. I. Uh, as I said, I go right, left, right, like a one, two, three. Her left, her right, and then back to the left for a hook. Good. One, good. Two, three, two. Boom, boom, boom. The opposite, three, two, three. Good. Now, uh, later on, if they're good, if they feel okay, I can add uh, uppercuts single strikes, but if I want to make it a combo, it will always be the same. If she's starting with the right, which is an even, then she's going to end with three, two. If she starts over here, the odd side, she's going to go with a two, three. So it doesn't matter. I don't have to call anything. I just boop, and then I'll be holding like this. Sorry. I will always be doing this at the end of those. Okay. What else can I add to help her? Uh, I can also help her work with her bobs and slips. A simple bob drill is she's gonna throw a combo, so she knows it's a three strike combo no matter what. Boom, turn, turn. With, the, with the free hand, I just lightly swing her head and then let her throw it again, okay? Here, like this is a two, three, two. It's a bob and a finish up with a two, three, two. Here's the three. Oh, sorry. A three, two, three. And finish with another three, two, three. Or just a single strike. Doesn't matter. Okay? Uh, pancake in the face. <laughs> okay. Uh, so I let her throw a strike here. As soon as that happens, she knows that there's a pancake coming to her face and she's working her slips. Boom. And then she's coming right back to hit that one. Uh, this could be, she could throw a straight, this could be a, a one, right, a jab, slip, one, or a jab, slip, a three. So that's totally up to you. Keep it simple, though. Um, so, that's just it. Boom. Notice I'm, I'm not using the edge here. I'm not trying to jab her in the eye. And again, these can all be done with hands. Two, three, two. Rush, 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 rush. Add movement, uppercut, boom. She knows every time. She knows every time that at the end, there's a guy on a five, ah, two, three. Here comes the bar. Always ending with a three, two, three, 
or a 232. Okay, so that's just something for you guys to be able to work on if you have a partner. I want to go back to uh, last week. We, we kind of went through this idea of this, <laughs> you know, where somehow <laughs> something explosive happened and somebody is at your back. We put those in two categories. The threat of bear hug. And when is a bear hug a bear hug? Uh, when it's around like... Yeah, when it gets around and when my hands get a pretty secure, a secure grip. I say when they get a pretty secure grip. Just because my hands got together doesn't necessarily, I mean, you know, that first moment in time when hands are down here is not really secure. That's a great time to break, uh, to break a grip is when that kind of grips here, when they, when they first get their hands together. Uh, every, other than that, it's a threat. So as a threat, we say deal with the threat. So me being right here, there's, there's not a bear hug. It's quite interesting, even in crop schools around the world, a lot of times, if she stops, stop, let me get the bear hug on you. You're like, what? Isn't that a great time to stop it before it actually happens? Yes, so we refer to this category as preemptive, okay? So uh, the drill that we uh, introduced probably about a week ago is a simple, very, very obvious, she knows this is coming type of drill. I put my hands on her, uh, on her shoulders and she is going to say go go Whoop, and then I'm coming here okay so uh, again let's look at that what she just did she put her hands here now I know that that is very uh, intuitive however hold that tight yeah, uh, it's yeah. just it's not it's not very strong one thing that you'll find is very interesting with the uh, dynamics of the arm is the pinky side is the strong arm <laughs> And my, this is really, really, it's very tough. Uh, now, you get too far, of course, it doesn't really, you know, it doesn't really stop. So that's why we often refer to this as kind of a seat belt because I want it somewhat vertical so that it can stop things. Even if I put this out here, well, that didn't stop her because <laughs> it's too straight out, right? I need, I need this. Uh, Slightly more than 90 degrees is really where I want it, and that's the strongest. It's very, very interesting. Right here, but she puts it at 90 degrees or less. Let's just say a little bit less, especially. <laughs> very, very difficult. So this is huge. So when, I, when this comes around here, she wants that pinky side there, okay? So the first, the, the first defense is this really high level of success, very low margin, lower margin of error, you know, this big, uh, this big block. So she needs to stop where that's coming from. Okay. The second hand is going to be a support. It's not, it doesn't need to be on the bladed side. It needs to be this because it's going to be a grip. It's pretty obvious. If she stops this, I'm going to transition to something else. Boom. Okay. So she needs to get a, a hold of that as quickly as possible. So her first goal is simply to deal with that threat of the arm coming around. So this comes up high, this comes up as a support and getting that grip as quickly as possible. Now, once she has that, what is it, what's her goal? To create space, right? She has all this space, it's a very easy cut in is the word we use. She's gonna clear those hips just simply by, uh, by going here. This right here is gonna serve as her support for the seat belt to make sure that I cannot close that space again. Now, the reason that we're bringing this up is this is a very easy uh, drill to work on your own if you just use your imagination. So I want, this is uh, our first drill will be, let's say I'm imagining, I'm gonna start in this kind of modified stance. We'll both, we'll both do it right here. And we're imagining that this attack is coming over here. So we just talked about this, right? Oh my gosh, whoa, here. Notice I'm tucking my head. I want to be a small target. I also want this. I want them to be like, oh my God, I can't get my arms around. So I have this. How do I make this a bigger circle? I drive the hips away. Remember, controlling the hips is their number, is uh, one of their two goals, most likely. There are the tackles, people going for legs, but for the most part, they want to control around the waist pull the hips in, or control around the shoulder head, pull that in, right? You know, 
We all know that. Hey, lady, uh, this or this, okay? So, uh, so we got a very, like I said, this broad weapon here. Boom, I'm going to go here. Then, what is our hip clearing move? Our step, 180 pivot, boom. And then what do we do? Create space, right? Okay, so that is number one. I'm just imagining I'm gonna go one side, then the other side. Whoa, I'm stopping him. I'm controlling the wrist. I'm stepping, I have this space here. Wrist here and making the space. Now, okay, so hope, as I said, making space, and let's say I was successful, okay? So that is the first goal. So from, the, from behind, it would look like this. Just imagining it, here comes the attack. Oh my goodness, step, clear seat belt, good posture, backing up, throwing strikes as I need to. Right side attack, whoa, here. Grip, step, rush into this seat belt, but making space. I say seat belt, but remember, seat belt is a structure. It's not a, I don't have to be touching it. I'm in the seat belt now, right? If she comes at me, she runs into the seat belt. That doesn't mean I have to say, oh, I must touch you, right? I continue to make space. All right, so that's number one. Let's do one more to the left. Are you ready? Attack is coming to the left. Here comes that hand. Boom! Here, you grip to get the grip. Step, turn, make space. Good. Attack is coming to the right. Whoa! Good. Let's do one more to the left, one to the right. I'm going to do it uh, as a partner on Lindsay. And again, all I'm doing is very broadly, I, I'm not trying to trick her. Uh, we'll start with the right, here it comes. Boom, she steps, pivots, and turns in, right? Keeps this, this is her main thing, to make sure that I don't close the space, right? Good, and again, to the left side, hey lady, boom, boom, she steps, good. And then turns, right? Now, you may, find both arms trying to hold on to this. However, is that the most important? Is that gonna stop me from doing this? It's not. This has to be here. This is the space that she has to guard. So the hip clear, remember, the step, the pivot, the making space, the step, the pivot, and the making space. This is something you have to get good at. So you're stepping on the opposite side from where your, your arms are holding? Right. Because I'm going to be turning in on this particular one, right? Whoa, step. I'm turning in and making space here. Now, when I say turn, we often will use the phrase like the hips collapse. Boom. That means I'm facing this way. And now I'm facing this way. It does not mean, here she's, she does it, oh, that I'm making this little circle and trying to get around. That's very easy for her to follow and to kind of collapse on, okay? So that's number one. Uh, number two, uh, uh, number two, we could, uh, we could say, all right, here comes this person. Boom, she does that. She's trying to make space but it doesn't work. She's trying to get out, and it's right here, so she's gotta create strikes, all right? So again, she's just gonna kinda of simulate. We can say, look, let's just simulate, start from the bottom. Stomping the foot, bam! Kicking backwards, boom, into the knee, into the shin. Elbow number four, oh sorry, a bladed strike to the groin, boom, oh my gosh. Uh, elbow number four to the midsection, the bladder, or whatever here. Uh, uh, elbow, we could, you know, potentially, if I get your posture compromised, what is this? Elbow number five, that old thing? Absolutely, boom, an upward elbow. The difference here, four vertical to a rear target, five is vertical to an upper, upper target here, 
up along those lines. Elbow number three, my hands are down, driving in here. Uh, headbutt, boom, driving back here. And what is the purpose of all those strikes? To be able to, to be able to create the distraction, to be able to create space, okay? So my second imaginary scenario with bear hug and grip from behind. And remember, we don't, we say bear hug from behind does not mean like, here comes this person from behind. It's like, hey, yeah, all of a sudden, somehow they got, what do we call this? The dead side, right? I'm outside her elbows. And now that's, the, that's where the thread is, okay? You're facing forward to the side. It could be bear hook from the side. It's the same thing. This is the same. Every, uh, every principle is still the same. All right, so scenario number two that we're using in our, as our, in our, with our imagination is to say, oh my gosh, boom, here comes this attack. I'm chewing, it's not working. So start with the strikes, bam, 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 this, 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 boom, and then make space. What's the purpose of the strikes? To create the distraction, to let the grip grow, to make the lit, grip let go, and to create the space. So at some point, it may just take one. Boom, hot, rest, you know. It may take two, rest, 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 rest. It may take three, I don't know, whatever. You, you got the idea. So let's do a couple of those. As I said, you don't have to start down low and then work your way up high. Boom, I think your first one ought to be, your, ought to be the headbutt no matter what. And remember, obviously, arms over your arms, arms under your arms will make the dip, will make the difference. I always will claim my space. If I if I'm in here and I throw an elbow and all of a sudden her arm comes out here, you better believe that instead of throwing another strike, boom, I'm gonna get in here and take my space. Then as we say, the grappling sets up your strikes and your strikes set up your grappling type of scenario. Okay, so let's, let's do a couple of those. One, two, the, let's start with the right. Oh my gosh, here comes this attack. Oh my God. Ah, this, 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 this. Back to the seatbelt, throw in some more strikes and get in here. Excellent, good. And to the left. Again, I'm just gonna simulate it for Lindsay so you can see it. Hey, get the head in the car. Excellent, good. All right, so scenario number three uh, is you have created space, but they keep on coming. Now that sounds very similar to number one, except that number one, uh, we didn't say for sure that you end up getting in the seatbelt. So, her strikes may come from this. I come, I'm here I come around here. She turns, she creates space, but then I don't stop. So at this point, the space, had, she, she owns this space here, but I'm continuing to come. So again, it's gonna have to be about strikes. So she's just gonna have to, boom, start letting it have it here. What are the strikes that she had? Yeah, knees. Boom, rising front kicks, stabbing knees, which we're gonna about ready to post something at. Where you get that knee up, perfect, that was a really good one. Yeah, I'm in here, oh, boom, drive in here. Headbutts, boom. <laughs> and then of course, being ready to transition, well, we'll talk about that in a second, the different transitions of what I might do, right? We did it the other day. We're in the clinch, oh, I, reach, I reach down, snap down, right? Oh. Remember that? Yeah. Snap down. I stay here. There's my arm. Arm drag. Oh. Yeah. Good. I stay here. I reach for the head. Duck under. Excellent. Good. So those are transitions. Uh, all right. So the idea here is let's go through two. Scenario number three is whoa, my gosh, that was close. I, oh, my gosh. Here they come back. Arrest. 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 Yes, 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 yes. Get the hell away from me. Good. And again, this time it's coming to the right. Oh my gosh. Yes, I created space. Whoa, they're coming.
coming back. Throwing strikes, boom, whatever I have to do. Excellent, good. Uh, okay, now, uh, those are the three main ones. You can work on that. Man, it's all about clearing those hips, getting the good base, getting the hips clear, and don't let them get around the head. Don't let them grip around here. So, now, for higher level folks, uh, once you're in, you know, I don't know, about halfway through level two, we start talking about transitions because it doesn't always go linearly. Here I am, I stop, no. If something doesn't work for me, what do I do? I'm gonna tackle her, she stops me with the arm stop, and then I go, ah, I'm gonna switch, I'm gonna change up, right? If I'm trying, if this doesn't work, you see people transition all the time. The striking doesn't work, so what do they do? They just grab, like, ah, 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 you know, I'm trying to grab here, it's not working, ah, so I transition and I go, I go to something else. So the idea here is that her defense worked, and, but I have continued the pressure, she got into the seatbelt, and let's go from there, so we're right uh, here, no, I'm, I'm doing it to you, right? Hey, lady, get the heck in the car. Boom, oh my gosh, she's in trouble. She steps, she clears, she gets into this seatbelt, right? And then, instead of me staying here and going uh -huh. like that, which is not realistic, I switch. We put it into two different ones. You know, uh, obviously, this is from the seatbelt. We've already done this. I'm going for her head, boom. So she's ready for that transition. She's ready for here, boom, snapping down. She's ready for, oh yeah, that was perfect, right? Meet, Charlie is very empathetic. Aww. He does not like anybody attacking anybody. Okay, buddy. He's not gonna defend, okay. but he will be very empathetic. <laughs> and Cookie too, yeah, as you will. Okay, you guys, get up here, get up here. Get up, get up. All right, stay away. All right, ah, boom, so she's in here. Remember, the transition is me doing something else besides that same thing, okay? Uh, now this transition could happen anywhere. What? So we're, the, we're familiar with the seatbelt one because we just discussed that last week. Again, let's put those in. She's got this seatbelt, I do nothing, but my arm's there, boom, she drags. She gets around there. There are many of these, but these are just a few that we always talk about. She's here, I, I'm getting frustrated. I go for the head, ducking under. She gets here, I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna grab her legs. Boom, she's gonna snap now. Uh, and yeah, great, all right. Now, but the transition could also happen here. She's just doing all this right. Okay, let's uh, do the attack mode here. She's like, ah, here. And then all of a sudden, I just reach out. Like, oh shoot, that wasn't working, so I <laughs> grab her head. Now, we always talk about if this is outside here, her defense is going to be to stop it and turn in here. But we, we remember, if you remember the phrase, we may sometimes throw out, like, I want this to be like a mousetrap. If it breaks the shoulder plane right here, she does the opposite, right? She reaches around, whoa, this is what I want. This is the easy one. But if it doesn't work, oh my gosh, boom, then I will do the opposite, okay? So I had to make a transition. Oh my gosh, whoa, here, boom, and then finishing up here. So yes, this is a little bit higher level, uh, but again, you can imagine this, all right? So here I am, here's one scenario. So we put this as four and five in here. I'm just working transition. Just think high, they go from here to going up high, they go from here to going down low. Uh, so all that, let's say, uh, we'll give her, the, you can just kind of imagine it, but so she stops me and all of a sudden I'm going down here, boom, she's looking to, that's why, that's one of the reasons why you gotta get that hip clear is like, oh my gosh, don't let them grab the uh, legs. But if she keeps her hands here, 
I'll be down here. So she is ready for that. She's ready for it to go down here. She's ready for it to go up there. Transition. Okay, so let's, let's, let's work some of these. Let's start from the top. Uh, just make sure we got it. Okay, so I'm being preemptive. This is standard 101 preemptive. Attack from my, from my left, ready to go. Boom, oh my gosh. Get the hell away from me, asshole. Good, they left, they ran off. Good, and again, attack from the right, go. Oh my gosh, get those hips on us. You better get the hell back, dude. Boom. Or for me, I've, it's, it's usually the ladies attacking me. Yeah. So I have to say, ladies, ladies, please stop. Okay, number two, uh, yeah, okay. So number two is, whoa, I was able, whoa, but now they kept going in. And so I have to go to the, to the seatbelt and throw some strikes. Ready, from the left side, go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes, yes. Boom, excellent, good. Number three is what? Uh, we didn't do uh, where you have to oh, 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 yeah. Number two was stopping it, but you, you stopped it, but you couldn't make space, right? So remember, now it's like, whoa, oh my God, whoa, 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 Right side, go, whoa, whoa, get the hell back, run. Nice defense, good. And four, four and five, four, transition, it all works, but then they go really low. So I'm like, whoa, whoa, I'm gonna sprawl, I'm going to one leg sprawl, I'm gonna arm stop, snap down, What's the difference between an arm snap, I mean a snap down and a sprawl? It's just a matter of how far I got in. If she can stop it with her arms, boom, she stops it. If she can't, she has to sprawl. If I get past that, right? So this is, it all works from the left. Boom, oh gosh, oh boy. Boom, get out of here. From the right, transition, uh, going low, go, whoa, oh, oh. And sometimes it happens right here. They realize it's not gonna work, so they immediately start, oh boy, boom, bam, bam, boom. Get out of here. Good, uh, transition, high. It's not working, boom, oh, 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 they're coming up here. So it made the simple one we did last time, of course, was the duck under, but it could be, throw a big haymaker to my right, it could be just simply this arm stop, I mean seatbelt clinch, right? So it could be here, but if I can, I would prefer to duck under and get to the dead side. Good. So from the left, bear hug fret, I turn in, they transition and they go high. Ready to go. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh, oh. I pick them up and slam them. Good. From the right, go. Whoops. Ooh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Just the seatbelt. The going stride. Good. And time. Good. So that's a very easy bear hug threat drill. Notice that in none of those scenarios did the hands get ever, did the hands ever get locked. If they get locked, then I'm switching to bear hug uh, defenses, not bear hug threat defense. Okay, so good work. A uh, lot of good stuff there to be working on. Uh, you just got to stay on the uh, on the members page. We got a lot of good videos. Been working really really hard to get some really good stuff for you. Remember, our time here in the evenings is just about Krav. There's not a whole lot of fitness in there, so you need to be making sure that you get our 12 o'clock uh, connection to the Fit to Fight uh, cardio workout at, at noon, or do something. Uh, my favorite thing for cardio is either to do actual, you know, bag work, stuff like that, or just do sprints. 
I believe everybody should have a really good 50 yard sprint. Best defense in the world, just to be able to run away. Not many people can run. <laughs> so, uh, excellent. Thank you very much, Lens. Great job. Shoulders back and Kida. You guys are the best.